So, one last thing, one last thing. When we talk about design thinking, so we've been talking about um, ideation, basically, right? And then now I think, like I said, now you can go back to the book, I mean the material, and find out how they pick up, how they ideate, and how they pick up insight, okay? And then another way to pick up insight, according to um, design thinking and IDEO, it's a prototype and test it, okay? So we're going to quickly cover this as the, as the, the final wrap up of this segment of the lecture. So prototype and test. Prototype is never a goal, okay? I will start with some statement. It is created to look for the goal, okay? I need to say, this sounds dumb, but I need to say this because prototyping has been a big buzzword recently, right? Because um, who knows the term 3D printer? Okay, all of you does probably, many of you does. And prototyping and building prototype has been a great buzz or a hype recently. So there are some group of people saying, I want to build a prototype. Doesn't mu make much sense. It's like, Fujisan no gogo me ni nobori tai. Right? Because Fujisan has jugo me. Fujisan gogo me is in the middle, right? It's, it's, well, you can go there by car, right? So Fujisan is, it's up high, right? That's what you want to get to. That's a goal in this case. So prototype is like you're, you're building it so that you can reach or you can find the goal, right? So making prototype is secondary objective. It's, it's a secondary. It's not a primary objective. Primary objective is you want to find your right goal, right? And you want to get there. So don't say my prototype is a goal. I want to build a prototype. You can say that as a secondary objective, but it's not a primary. And then prototype without test is merely a visual aid. Okay, I need to emphasize this as well. I think many of you or some of you have done prototyping in some kind of workshop at the very end of the day, right? And you build your prototype with, I don't know, post-it and origami and nendo and just show it to the people, right? Ta-da, this is my prototype. No, it's not. It's a visual aid because you're just presenting them and showing them and explaining them. It's not prototype. Prototype, you need to test with it. You need to learn new things with it. Okay, if it's just you're just showing them and then getting just feedback, vocal feedback, no, that's a visual aid of your presentation. And in a buzz concept and word, 3D printer is just one kind of many prototyping methods and techniques. I cannot emphasize this. There are some people out there saying that 3D printer is a prototype and it will change the world. It may change the world, but it's just only one method of prototyping, various prototyping techniques are there, okay? And then never, your 3D printer will never print you a new business model, okay? It will only print the 3D shape, all right? It will not print you money, it will not print you new business models. You need to print that out from your brain and then you can use, you can utilize the 3D printer. So I had to add this line because it's been a huge hype and buzzword. And you need to be able to look for your right prototyping method and testing method, okay? Also, develop one if there is no suitable one, okay? So it's important to look for your suitable methodology or tools and then testing method. And you need to, o you need to think why you prototype and test, what you prototype and test, and how you prototype and test, okay? And so here's a little disclaimer of the prototyping and test. So in this explanation, um, uh, this is not intended to universally acknowledge. So uh, the explanation is uh, mainly targeted to clarify the difference between the concept of prototyping that is used in the context of conventional Japanese manufacturing and that of design thinking, okay? I'm trying to distinguish these two. Some of the terminology used in this material is from system engineering domain, which we'll be talking next um, Saturday. So this is not a universal um, terminology, uh, the, the way you use the terminology, but I'm trying to clarify, um, you clarify what the prototyping is, okay? So, yeah, well, this is in Japanese. If you like the Japanese version, then, all right. So what is prototype? Is it a mock-up, engineering model? So there are many different 
um, interpretation. But I like what's stated in the process guide, design thinking process guide, the, the this black guy, okay? The prototyping mode is the iterative generation of artifacts in intended to answer questions that get you closer to your final solution. Okay, it's pretty clear, all right? It does not talk about prototype, but it talk about prototype mode, okay? You are in the prototype mode, you're building it, you're doing it iteratively, and you're trying to answer the question so that you get close to the solution. So that's what it is, okay? So prototype serves for that purpose. So prototype is to build to answer your questions, simple. Here is types of questions that your prototype may be able to answer, okay? Here are, this is our KOSDM type of explanation, okay? There is verification and validation, all right? So it's a, it's a concept bor borrowed by systems engineering, borrowed from systems engineering. Verification, you, ver you can verify, you verify your functionality of your design, or you can verify the performance of the design, or you can verify several other things. You are verifying against your intention. Okay, you are verifying whether you're, you done it correctly. So in other words, you are com confirming you did the thing right, okay? Do the thing right confirmation is verification. This is verification. Validation, you validate the design or you validate the concept. You validate against stakeholders and context, okay? So in other words, do the right thing confirmation. Okay, little tricky, little tricky, but I can give you an example. I, when I was in Honda, we built a motorcycle called DN01. Who knows DN01? No one, I'm pretty sure. It was a very cool motorcycle that sold very little. <laughs> a very, very little. However, however, it looks cool, huh? See that? Actually, Kamen Rider rode one of these back then, yes. But it was only Kamen Rider who rode this. <laughs> but of course, it was commercially sold, but you know, never sold well. So this was DN01. It was automatic uh, manual, uh, automatic transmission, and it, it was, um, of course, it was engineered very well. It has a very special kind of um, transmission system. And it was, uh, it was decent price and, and decent looking, and we did a great engineering job. However, it never sold. Well, it sold um, just, a, just a tiny bit, okay? So we did the thing right, okay? Our engineering was correct, but we were not making the right motorcycle. Sad story, isn't it? Okay, we did our job, engineering job right. We did the thing right. We tested, there's no fail, everything works smoothly. But we were not building the right thing. So what do you really want to do? You want to know whether you're building the right thing as early as possible, right? You want to validate what you are doing before you get into the details, before you get into spending money. So. Doing the thing right is just like checking your mathematical errors, right? And then doing the right thing is you're asking yourself, is mathematic, is, is, it, is mathematic really necessary at this point? It's asking yourself, are you doing the right thing? Okay, do you see a difference here? So in the design thinking, in the design thinking context, they prototype to validate, okay? The design thinking prototype is more towards the checking the right thing. So it's checking do the right thing confirmation, okay? In, in engineering, normal engineering or conventional engineering, it is checking the verification. It's a verification process. It's checking do the thing right confirmation, okay? So this is the engineering prototype. That's co more conventional terminology used. And validation is the do the right thing confirmation. That's more um, discussed in the design thinking. I'm not saying this is bad and this is good or e but, uh, either way, I am saying there's a difference, okay? There's a difference. There's two types of questions that prototype can answer. In another two concept, okay? 
prototype versus final solution. It's obvious, right? Prototype is to create, get closer to your final solution, right? Just like uh, we st was stated in this booklet. And then final solution is develop on findings and insight acquired from prototyping and testing, okay? Easy enough. So I'm going to do a quiz. Prototyping or final solution, all right? So this is Unicub. This is a mono wheel or one wheel um, a, a vehicle that's developed by Honda. And then this is Iron Man. Who, who doesn't know Iron Man? Okay, who, you know Iron Man? Who's familiar with this Iron Man? Who's familiar? Okay, only one guy? Maybe I should not do stop doing this, maybe. I did it at the workshop la a couple weeks ago and no one knew the answer, so, but I'll do it anyways. So, all right. So this is a, type, this is a robot built by Iron Man in, in within the story of Iron Man. Uh, this is um, Unicub that's built by Honda. Okay, this is a personal mobility. Actually, this is um, my colleague, my, my co the old colleagues are doing this. So I was doing something crazy like this one. Okay, so, okay, you have uh, four choices. I, I'm going to ask you. So who thinks both are prototypes? And who thinks both are final solution? And who thinks Unicub is a prototype and that's the final solution? And the other way around. This is the final solution. This is the prototype. Okay? It's a multiple choice. All right? I want to see your hands. Who thinks both are prototypes? Prototype. Both are prototypes. Okay? Who thinks both are final solution? Okay? Who thinks this is prototype and this is a final solution? Okay? Who thinks this is a final solution and this is a prototype? Okay. So, it's separate. This is my explanation, okay? The prototype is a Unicub. Unicub is a prototype. I'm going to explain why. Unicub is a prototype of a near future personal mobility product, okay? It is currently validating its concept, mobility that blends in human and human environment. Okay, so it's put it this way. So Unicub is not a final product. Final, final solution will be a um, personal mobility product that Honda can sell. However, it is still a prototype. It's not at the goal. It's not at its goal, all right? But it, it's, it looks neat, it looks nice, but it's not at its goal. However, this guy is a final solution. Why? If you don't know the movie, just ignore me, okay? This Iron Man suit was designed and built to escape from the villain prison. It served the purpose, therefore it is the final solution. So it's only you nodded, right? Because you saw a movie. So what <laughs> I wanted to say is that it does not look like a final solution, but it served its final purpose, so it is a final solution. Instead, this one was built neat, however, it's not serving its final solution or ser final purpose, so it is still a prototype, okay? So prototype is not about the look. And you can go online and type in, I won't let you down. Do you know this movie? Yeah, they're, they're um, writing this Unicub, okay? My old colleagues worked their ass off to make this right, okay? So yes, this is the I think one of the most viewed videos um, of this year so far. So prototype is not about the look. Okay, a prototype looks rough. The final solution looks neat. No, all right. That's what I wanted to say. Oops. Prototype is to build answer questions. Questions is important. Question is important. So good question for prototyping. A good question that you want to find answer by creating prototype helps you to cl clarify the following question. So if you have a good question that you want to answer with a prototype, then it will help you to clarify such things. Why you prototype and test? What you prototype and test? And how you prototype and test? For example, of a good question to prototype is, 
do my users appreciate fake nail type watch? I'll, I'll get to the I'll get to the example, but it's a it's a, a maybe it could be a good good question to ask for prototyping. Do my users appreciate fake nail type watch for time telling device? I will get to the exact um, example later. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about various types of prototyping. So there are so many different types of prototyping methods and techniques. Every type has strengths and weaknesses. Okay? Choose prototyping type based on your question. Okay? So this is one example of my microsatellite prototype. Okay? This is paper built. Paper built, and it's the size of about iPhone, the old iPhone. But it's served as a prototype. So when you um, designing the deploy sequence of the uh, microsatellite, deploy sequence is you, you launch with the rocket, and the rocket um, deploys your microsatellite, and the microsatellite will rotate itself, and then it will try to reconfigure or reorient itself. Okay? It autonomously control itself, the body orientation. We need it to um, confirm that the satellite will not die. Okay, so we had one guy standing on the one side of the room with the, the flashlight, and we turn off all the lights. And I have my, uh, what is it, Chikugi here, right? Chikugi here, what is it, Chikugi? The Earth model here. And then I have my satellite prototype flying around it, okay? So it, it, the flashlight is pretending like a sun. And then I see, I can see how my microsatellite will catch up with the sunlight, and when it can generate power and when it cannot. And then by doing so, we were configuring the deploy sequence: when to open the paddles, where to set the solo paddle. So that was that served great for that purpose. Okay. So this paper um, model worked great for me. And of course, there's a wireframe for your web prototyping. There's like um, the scaled model, and of course, 3D printer. And then, like I said, 3D printer can serve you to provide a 3D shape, but it does not provide you with a business model. Okay, so don't just get um, confused. But different type of prototyping does exist, and you need to choose based on your question. Okay, and a little bit about prototyping and project phases, okay? So if you take the timeline of your project, if you're developing concept, you're developing strategy, and you are actually executing. So let's take this as a project lifetime, um, lifeline or life cycle. Um, in the beginning half, you are clarifying what to make. And then in the later half, you're or organizing how to make or how to realize. So. It is far more important to confirm do the right thing in early phases of the project, right? Because if you don't want to go further with um, not knowing that you are right doing the right thing, right? Because you don't want to build another DNA zero one. It's a sad story. Yeah, we can drink over that. But yes, early validation mindset is a key for a success. Okay, you want to validate whether your concept or your direction is correct or the right, okay? And then you need to validate against stakeholders and context and everything. And then that is not easy. So here's an example of uh, prototyping and testing, okay? In terms of design thinking type prototyping. So wearable time-telling device. This was actually a design project 2013 um, homework uh, done by one of our students. And then so this team was prototyping wearable time-telling device. And they had this concept of fake nail type watch, all right? And then they tried on several paper make, several paper made uh, fake nail type watch for half the day and realized it does not bother much to do things. And also, no need for the thumb type. That's what they found out. After they played around with this, they found out, they, they told me that, hey, Kane, did you know that you probably don't need thumb? because you can really not see it. That's what they told me, okay? So they found out this concept may work and that they do not need some version of that. So early validation of the concept, it worked, okay? They spent so less money and time to find this out. So it was a great prototype. 
And another uh, famous or popular example is from IDEO, easy to use surgical instrument. This prototype was built in the first meeting of IDEO and medical doctors. It was built with stuff around the meeting table. All right. So they were talking about new um, surgical device, and then they used to be a stick type. It used to be a stick type, but doctor had some complaint about it. They had uh, some image about it, but IDEO people had no experience of um, doing the surgical um, devices, so they built this using the stuff they found in the room, and then it helped to communicate the concept in very, very early phase. Okay, and then they ended up building this at the end, which uh, was um, uh, effe effectively communicated through this very, very coarse or very, very low resolution prototype. Okay, and then it's again, it's validation, right? It's doing, it's trying to see if they are going in the right direction. Okay, it's not about functionality. It's not about how the weight. It's not about the uh, performance, but it's about the concept, all right? Before, okay, before I explain, I want to just show you the video. Who knows this video? Who has seen it? Okay. This is another um, version of IDEO's prototype. So do you understand that? So it, it's it's a cardboard cut out to be to look like an iPhone. So IDEO wrote not a single line of program to prototype their smartphone app user interface. Very um, low cost. Oh, okay, I missed the low cost and then time effective prototype, right? So creatively confirmed how app would look and feel like in a very very early phase. Again, this is about a validation. It's not about performance or functionality. It's about checking its, its concept, okay? And then this is the actual product the IDEO built. So you basically, you built your own monster. You choose his or her face, and then you touch him, and it does the, the dance move that that guy was doing. See that? So it's actually sold pretty well. I don't know what's really interesting about this, but my daughter loves it. Anyways, so so this is how prototype for validation is done. Okay, so that's the prototype that we're talking about, or design thinking is talking about. So when do I prototype and test? Okay. To answer that question, I'm just giving you a small plot. Before you prototype and test for validation purpose, so you're like this. You're mo you're, you, you might be saying, imagine yourself saying this. We won't know unless we do it. Okay? You might be saying something like this. Or let's just do it and see what comes out. Okay? Or you may be saying, if we find an answer to this, this that will take us further. You are in the, this kind of mode before you prototype. And then you prototype and become, after you prototype and test, you say, hey, we knew it. Or, what? Why did that happen? Right? Because you've done some testing and you find out something new. And then, or, we would never find out if we didn't try it out. Okay? This is common, um, common after prototyping. And then this is also common. Okay, now we know what to do. Right? So this is when you do prototype and test. You are in this mode. So you are like, say, hey, let's do it and find out what, what we're missing or how, uh, well, let's see uh, what we can find out. And then after that, you will find out something. Okay? So this is uh, kind of the mode change after and before and after prototyping. 
So keep in mind that doing with prototyping teaches you more than you imagine. Okay? So let's do a quick exercise with us, okay? Let's do prototyping exercise. Now you go out there, get the stuff, and build prototype by seven. No, we won't do that. <laughs> You're like, what? Okay, <laughs> here's what we're going to do. You and your team are prototyping and testing your idea or insight tomorrow. Pick one insight or idea off the matrix. Just pick one, okay? And pretend you are testing tomorrow, okay? Tomorrow. Write an email to your teammate about tomorrow's prototyping and test plan. Okay, so basically, where to meet, what to bring, what we build, how we test, what is expected. Okay, just pretend you're writing email. So what I really want you to be thinking is that you have so little time, right? Because it's tomorrow, okay? You cannot go to Hokkaido and find 10 cows to do whatever. No, you can't do that because it's tomorrow, okay? You cannot ask for junior high students to come along and then do some tests for you. No, you can't do that because it's tomorrow, all right? So you have a very limited amount of time to think about and a very, very limited amount of time to prepare, all right? So you need to choose what is the good question to ask and answer tomorrow, trying to answer tomorrow. And then how can we conduct early validation tomorrow? What are the essences? What are the essentials that you can probably check by tomorrow, okay? So. Let's do it, um, just a short, quick um, exercise. I'll give you about 10 minutes or less to discuss. You don't have to write this down, but choose just one, choose one interesting insight or idea and discuss how you may be able to prototype tomorrow, okay? And you cannot do much. You cannot go to Hokkaido. You cannot go to Rainbow Bridge and then close it out, shut it out loud, shut it, shut it, shut, shut it down. Uh, you cannot do that. So you have a limited resource, but you want to prototype tomorrow. All right? So, okay, start discussing. And just choose one insight or idea, and please discuss. I want you to try to focus on prototyping, not interviewing, not surveying, okay? I want you to try to focus on prototyping, okay? <laughs> 
Okay, since we are already past the six o'clock, so I want to, I, I'm going to give you much time, but who can share us your prototype plan for tomorrow? Or the testing plan for tomorrow? Who wants to give a shot? Okay. Go ahead. What, what's your idea? Such a certain kind of service okay. uh, to design the future health. So consider considering the, pers the person's the life cycle, mm -hmm. and uh, so through his life cycle, we the, the service provides the, the she, he, him or her with uh, optimal health health style. Okay, mm -hmm. and uh, <coughs> our our validation plan is the the, the is this service uh, really uh, accepted mm, appreciated or, uh, uh, expected mm -hmm. by okay. the users okay. is there any uh, users mm -hmm. so our, our validation plan is the first we we go to the street okay and uh, we we ask uh, some women, women, okay. or men, and uh, and uh, take a photos, mm -hmm. the, the person's face photos, and we selfie. You mean self shot? Yeah. Okay. And uh, we process and uh, the face photos, and uh, by using such a uh, software such as Photoshop. Yes. And uh, we suggest the. And uh, we suggest the the advantage mm. of the of yes changing the ways of life than the shiwa thing. Shiwa, winkle. Yes. So I, yes. So for example, if your winkle around the eye uh, became decreased, yeah, you will more. Uh, 
Mon père. OK? <laughs> so, so I, I will, we, we will provide such kind of service tomorrow. OK. And then we validate, we will validate the demand for okay. the SATs. I see, I see. So you will be a um, bunch of guys standing with your laptop and then taking somebody's photo like that and doing process as, as of you do it and then you showing them and asking them whether they like it or not. Good luck. <laughs> well, some may not like what you're doing. Some may love what you are doing. And you, you'll find out, right? Yeah. You may, be, you may make her mad, maybe. I don't know. But you'll probably find out some feedback. Or you need to be very careful about the skills, like you know, what to do to her face, probably. Right, because that will really changes what she, how she reacts. Right? Okay. Well, so that's doable tomorrow, but eh, I don't know what we get tomorrow. We'll see. We'll see. Okay. So the important thing is that you need to think what we can do tomorrow. Okay. So the key takeaway from this exercise is that when you usually do prototyping in the design thinking workshop, you usually have Play-Dohs and usually have, I don't know, papers and things like this, and you build stuff, right? But what if your idea was not product? What if your idea was service? What if your idea was big infrastructure system or whatever, right? You need to find out how to prototype. You need to be thinking, hmm, how can I prototype tomorrow? And you don't want to be spending two months to prepare your prototype. That's not prototyping within the context of design thinking. You wanted to build it rapidly and then test it rapidly so that you fail first, you learn more, okay? So that's why we did this exercise. So, and the prototyping is also, oh, thank you, thanks for sharing. Um, prototyping is also described in this uh, process guide. It's in the, the later half of the pages. Um, there is two pages about prototyping and it describes what is the prototyping mode, why prototype, and how prototype, and also how you transition, how you make transition from prototyping to testing, okay? So this is um, very useful to understand the concept of prototyping. And also, I really want you to take a look at this um, bootcamp bootleg, uh, page 33 to page They are, they discuss different types of prototyping techniques, okay? One really interesting one is Wizard of Oz. Oz no maho tsukai to prototyping についていてあったりもするので、ぜひ見てみてください。そういうプロトタイピングの方法があるよというのをですね、あの、まあ、覚えていくといいかなと。これどういうことかというと、あの、新しい ATM マシンを作りますと言ってですね、僕が ATM の箱の中に入ってるんです。で、お金を入れてくださいみたいなことを言って、こうちょっと早く出したり、ちょっと遅く出したりしてみて、あこ,れでこれ以上早いとイライラするなとか、これ以上遅いとイライラするなみたいなのを、本当はシステム1個もできてないのに、中にこう人が入って、そういうことをやるっていう、まあ、あのオズの魔法使いのオチがそんなだったっていうのから来てるんですけど、オズの魔法使いというテストの方法があったりします。なので、So there are so many ways to prototype and so many ways to test.So I want you to be、um, comfortable. Not, you may not have a chance to do a lot of prototyping within this three day course workshop, but some of you may have a chance to do prototyping while in the project based learning. And then this is a, a quote that I want to share with you. We went to Stanford University, we took this photo. There, there was a big banner that says, The only way to do it is to do it. <laughs> okay? There is no other way to do it. So the only way to do it is do it. And also, oh, I don't have that here.、Um, do while thinking and think while doing mentality is also encouraged in the design thinking world or design thinking regime. So, you, but it's not about building with Play Doh's,、uh, and it's not about building or painting. It's not about doing stuff with cardboard and papers. No, it's not. It's about you need to think what to build, why you would build. And then how you test. Okay? So I want you really to be focusing on that area, not how you build it. All right. 
So I'm sorry we're past some time. I'm, I'm going to wrap up in, a, in a five minutes. So you have been doing innovative thinking, okay? You have been doing innovative thinking today in, in terms of design thinking. We had a main focus on design thinking. Here are some innovative thinking inspiration or good practice that you can, um, you can skim through or you can look around and then practice your innovative mindset or innovative thinking. Go to this website, um, designtoimprovelife.dk. So this is the, the booklet that I introduced to you. Um, it's a design award, and they have various types of designs. And then one, a famous one, is the winner of 2011. Do you know what this is? This is a, yeah, this is the helmet, yes. This is a helmet that you cannot see. This is like a, this floats like an airbag when it, you hit the car. And it, it actually, it works better than conventional helmet. This was invented, or I, yeah, it was invented by two Norwegian, um, I think, university students. I think they are in the third round or fourth round of um, getting a more fund by the, the investors. So now they're in the, um, on, on business. And this is uh, Embrace. This is 2011 winner from a D school that they built this incubation um, small sleeping pillow basically for um, newborn babies to, to so that they can survive in uh, in the Himalayas areas okay so these are um, more famous or popular um, examples from index award and it, it's gonna really help you to think innovatively what are their insights how did they ideate what, what, what did what kind of process they um, went through to get to the final solution or final form of the solution, okay? And one last thing that I want to share with you that is that we have a homework. Here, find innovative solution, okay? Just like you did when you first introduced yourself. Product, service, policy, strategy, or any other type of solution is just fine, okay? Concisely, short, simple, describe why you think it is innovative, okay? And you will be sharing your findings on November 29th, all right? And for example, like the example that I gave you, I will give you is, do you know PNG gel bowl? Yeah? This, I think this is really innovative because conventional detergent requires measuring, but this product completely omitted this step. Right? It just omitted it this step. You can just throw it in. And then I think this is innovative, and this may become an innovation in the near future because when it laundry machine that specifically asks for this type of detergent may appear in the market. Okay? If that starts happening, then I think this is actually taking off as innovation. And this may, be be this may become a new usual, new norm for the detergent. I don't know, it, it may occur, it may not. But if it does, I think the people in the future will look back and say, hey, that was innovation. But for this assignment, you look for innovative um, solution, all right, innovative solution. But I want you to be, you to be careful enough to um, describe how is it innovative or why is it innovative, okay? You can describe, you can define, okay? It all, it, it all depends on you, how you look at it, all right? Simple homework, but I want you to be, don't bring someone might bring, okay? Don't bring a product or so solution that someone might bring. Find something unique, interesting, and wow. Okay, I want to see about 30 wow ideas or 30 wow solution. Okay, yes. No, could be just any, any random solution. Conventional detergent requires measuring, but this product completely omitted the step. So it's very different from the conventional, so that's why I think this is innovative. Mm. Yes. Yes. Well, just you can you can tell us vocally. Yes. 
you don't have to write it down. You don't have to prepare a PowerPoint slide. It's okay. Yeah. But you, if it's, it will be nice if you can show and tell. Like, you know, print it out and then show, show us the picture. Or you can, maybe I can p Google search here. If it, yes? Yeah. Thanks for asking. This is a good exercise to get more keen, more sensitive about innovative solutions. I want you to be looking for innovative solutions. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. Okay. So here's a hint. Innovative solution was invented at time some product, some existing product did exist for a while. And then here comes innovative product because there is a big gap or difference between conventional and innovative product. And an innovative product has a big change in some aspect. So that's how you kind of define innovativeness. Because it's kakushin, right? So if, if you have nothing, then there is no kakushin. You gotta be, a, there, there gotta be some kind of change happen. And it's new, and it's valuable. All right? You, you can come up with innovative solution if you want to. But look for one, look for one, okay? And sometimes the simplest solution could be an innovative solution. Sometimes it's a complicated and high tech could be in an innovative solution. It depends on you. Okay, I'm sorry we went over time, and I know many of you are coming to the to the hub, or you're just too tired to come to the hub anymore. That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. But if you are um, still genki to come to the hub, let's go and so. Welcome to KO Edge program. This is how we're gonna do this, okay, for three, two more days. Wow, it's a lot of things. Next week, I mean next Saturday, we're gonna talk about systems engineering or systems engineering approach and a way to think um, um, as a system. So if you haven't looked at the video, please do so because it's, it's gonna give you a good um, heads up or the starts of for next lecture, okay? So I'm gonna quit, I mean, I'm gonna stop here for now and then start, um, I want you to help us to clean up the room. But if you have questions, we, I can answer while you, we are cleaning up the room. So you can, you can ask us questions. All right, so, yes. Outcome, yes, please um, take photos and then make sure you, you, yeah, you can, we will keep it upstairs, so. Yes, please uh, take a photos as well, okay? And write down your team names, please. And where you are sitting, I guess. Th that help it helps us. All right, again, thank you very much for joining KO Edge program and then I'll see you on Saturday or at the hub later. All right, thank you.